Talking about uncles in the Philippines, I'll talk about a few of mine. Um, the first first one is quite important to me. Um, we have a mutual respect business-wise because he's quite a well-connected guy in the Philippines. He's got a lot of influence and he's far more wealthy than I am and likely to be. Um, it was quite interesting when we bought the building next to where we live um, because you know, bought a lot, etc. Um, because he came and shook my hand because for him it was quite a you know, it's a respect thing because it shows that I'm on the same level, it shows that there's like a family connection. Um, because to be honest, he is my uncle at the end of the day. You know, some people go, Oh, the Filipino family. This is my family. He, my father, my mother, or whatever, they will look after my wife, my kids, etc. In the same way, when I was sick, my mother in law was burning for, to keep mosquitoes away and all sorts. And their biggest fear is that I would die. So the family connection is extremely strong. Um, to get respect from my wife's uncle was very, very strong. That's that's one uncle. Another uncle come to our wedding. He's a judge. Um, now, the interesting thing with judges, at that time, they're not allowed to go between different areas because it's an anti-corruption thing. Because, obviously, if you bribe this judge here and your hitman has a case down south and you move your judge down there uh, for that case you can manipulate the entire court system so they stopped all that so come to my wedding um, he come in late because he shouldn't really be traveling in the the city at that time he's not it's not supposed to be but he did out of respect for our wedding Another judge is a, oh, sorry, another uncle is a police general, uh, which I'll be bringing up very soon because he's currently running for a councillor seat in Mingdanilia. Don't get in politics. This is the golden rule of the Philippines to not get involved with politics. Um, I would say that for you, but for me, family's family. Um, so. Hey ho. But the family bond is quite strong. We're all interconnected. We're. It's, it's bizarre. It's a bit. I don't know if it. Because the thing is, I sit quite strange to many other expats because the, the family already accepts me as a relative. My mother in law sees me as her son, my father in law sees me as her son. Um, my wife's uncles see me as a family member, a nephew, etc. It's very, very well connected. Um, I don't know if that's my age because I'm quite young compared to a lot of other expats, or it's the fact that the that I'm quite well connected. I look after everybody, um, but either way, we function as a unit. I know this is sounds a bit. Oh, well, you know, we function as a unit. What's that mean? Um, we look after each other. And people know I, I will do whatever it takes to take care of them. I mean, <clears throat> if you look at some of my friends that had some difficult times in the Philippines, I've looked after them in quite considerable ways. Um it's hard to actually talk about it because I don't really want them to put them in a position where they're sort of like, a, oh, Matt, thanks for your help. And all. But at the same time, it's like the last video I said about my military background. If you're on my friend, friends list, it's, it's not like 500 friends. The list is very short, but if you're on that list, I'll do whatever I can to help somebody out in a difficult situation. Um, my family is like that. I'll do whatever it takes to look after my family. It's as simple as that. Um, I can't say it any other way. 
So if one of my uncles wants to run for uh, a councillor seat or a mayor seat, I will fund it, help it, promote it, whatever I need to do because we're family. Um, and at the same time, if I need business advice, etc., in the Philippines, I look to my other uncle. And if I need legal advice, I look to the other one. This is family. This is why if you want to get ahead in the Philippines, you need to utilize the people that are around you. I know a lot of people say, take your wife away from the family. I go, no, that's not the way to do it. Embrace the family. Utilize everything you've got and integrate. You have a lot to offer and they have a lot to offer. You may not see it on the surface, but family is family at the end of the day. And I mean, even with my brothers are a nightmare, but they are still my brothers. And they'll tell you about stuff I've done for them in the past. Um, if you ever asked them, but I don't even mention their names. But the I've done some crazy stuff for them in the past. But family is family, whatever whatever way you look at it. Yeah.